Did he finally appear with a video apology and, uh, well, it went as you would expect. But we are going to take a look at his body language so you can learn to spot more than a couple signals of deception. If you don't know what the apology is about, well, the, he claims to regret his behavior towards his ex-girlfriend Cassie Ventura, who filed a lawsuit against him in November 2023, alleging years of physical abuse, sexual assault, and other misconduct during their relationship. The case was settled within a day, with both parties expressing a desire to move forward without further public litigation. But then the internet happened and someone leaked an extremely disturbing video of Diddy pushing and repeatedly kicking Ventura when she was trying to escape the suit. Uh, to make things even more upsetting, the Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office acknowledged the circulation of the video they did from 2016. And you're not going to believe this, but due to the incident's occurrence beyond the prosecutable time frame, they cannot press charges. But they encourage victims or witnesses to report crimes to law enforcement. Now, I understand that uh, this falls into the affairs and abuse included in the already settled lawsuit. But don't you tell me that the way law is being managed with this case is not disgraceful. But that's a topic for another video. Let's say the obvious. The only reason he issued this video is because he got caught. Because in case you don't know, he vehemently denied any wrongdoing with his statements like this. For the last couple of weeks, I have sat silently and watched people try to assassinate my character, destroy my reputation and my legacy. Sickening allegations have been made against me by individuals looking for a quick payday. Let me be absolutely clear. I did not do any of the awful things being alleged. I will fight for my name, my family, and for the truth. Well, I don't know if by sick individuals he was also talking about Ventura. But anyway, let's take a look at the video in small sections in chronological order. You will have the usual trusty yellow markers to know where to look at any given time. And in the first clip, pay attention to his brow area and also the way he either nods or denies with his head. It's so difficult to reflect on the darkest times in your life. Sometimes you got to do that. I was fucked up. I mean, I hit rock bottom. But I make no excuses. Well, first thing you notice is that the first thing he mentions are the darkest times of his life, which is a rather ambiguous statement. If he considers that it was a dark time for him, what do you think it was for Cassie Ventura? So just the fact that he started his apology that way is a signal that he's focused on himself. I told you to pay attention to his head, both the nodding and denying, because there's a subtle contradiction. He makes two similar statements. I was F up, I hit rock bottom, in the sense that with both, he's judging himself. What is odd is that in one of them, he moves his head up and down. I was F up. And then he denies with his head. I hit rock bottom. For now, it is just a signal of contradiction. But one thing that you might not have noticed is that the saccades or rapid movement of the eyes give away the fact that he's reading a script. At the start of every sentence or so, you see his pupils just a tad to his left, and then they end up just a bit to his right. It's really subtle because the script must be directly on his phone, so that movement would just span the width of the phone screen. It's also hypercritical that he says the words, I made no excuses because, well, he flat out denied doing any of what happened. But let's watch the following clip and make sure to pay attention to his emotional displays uh, or lack thereof. My behavior on that video is inexcusable. I take full responsibility for my actions in that video. I'm disgusted. I was disgusted then when I did it. I'm disgusted now. You see that the contradictions appear again, and we are not even 20 seconds into the apology. But he says, I take full responsibility for my actions in that video. He denies with his head. I mentioned in other analysis that the nine with your head can be a signal of emphasis. 
but there is no adverb or adjective here that could be emphasized. So for now, we can assume that his body language is betraying him and he is, in fact, not taking full responsibility for his actions. Also saying that he was disgusted, then when he did it, is really believing that everyone is stupid. The video spoke for it itself. You cannot be disgusted about kicking a defenseless woman laying on the floor and then keep kicking said defenseless woman again and again. That just doesn't make sense. But he must have noticed that these were not the best words as in disgusted by his actions because he looks away and he swallows right at that moment. That is an emotional reaction, and even if emotional reactions don't have meaning in themselves, they are a good signal that something is happening inside the person. And since we know that being disgusted back then makes no sense, it could be that he knew he was pushing his soft story too much. It happens a lot with narcissists, but if you think he's been pushing it too far, it is nothing compared with what comes next. I went and I sought out professional help. I had to go into therapy, and go into rehab. I had to ask God for his mercy and grace. Yeah, how convenient that when he mentions God asking for his mercy and grace, he turns his eyes to the main source of light, which is the sky. But then his eyes catch the light in such a way that the reflections make it seem like he's teary-eyed when he's not. This is as fake as it gets, because it is such a coincidence that this is the only instant of the video that he moves his eyes like that. It's a bit of a gaslighting as well, because... How couldn't you forgive a man who is asking for God's mercy and grace? But my question would be, did he ask for that mercy and grace before or after the video was leaked? And now that I think of it, there's no way to tell when this video was recorded. Maybe it was recorded at one of his houses, but that's it. When it was recorded, we don't know. That is relevant because... At the same time, he doesn't mention Cassie Ventura at any point in the video. He doesn't mention anybody. In fact, you could grab this very generic apology and apply it to anyone who has ever interacted with Diddy at any point of his life, going through God knows what, and it would fit. It's that generic and vague. And what makes an apology generic and vague? Well, you make sure to not mention the victim. You make sure to not mention what you did to them. You make sure to not say anything about the circumstances and you give no details. So nobody can be really sure that this apology was really meant for Ventura. This could have been just a scripted umbrella statement that he recorded previously in case any of the accusations exploded into the public opinion. That would explain why is he so emotionless when he says that he is disgusted now. He, he doesn't really mean this. And in the last clip of this very generic apology, he finally says that he is sorry. He doesn't say sorry about what, of course. But what really matters is that you pay attention to his mouth right when he says those words. I'm so sorry. But I'm committed to be a better man each and every day. I'm not asking for forgiveness. I'm truly sorry. Well, thanks to the almost non-existent emotions on his face, it's a bit hard to spot that right as he says the words, I'm sorry, he raises his left uh, lip corner. And at first I thought this could be part of his uh, body language baseline, or the body language he displays all the time, but no. When, when making the rest of the statements, he doesn't raise his left lip corner like this. This could be just a bit of a smirk, but a bit of condescending tone, or even a bit of contempt for anyone forcing him to do this. But it's there. So we have already seen enough signals of deceit. Pretty much emotionless, uh, there is no inflection in his voice tone, he makes some absurd statements, he makes the apology so vague that it could be applied to virtually any person or event he's been with. And there's even signals of condescending smirks. 
I know that many, many of you already didn't believe him, but I wanted to point out what was activating your BS detector. And just in case, it's always important to seize the opportunity of those shining eyes looking into the sky, searching for the mercy of God, and maybe try to peek into the reflection of the surroundings. It looks like he was alone, but maybe there was someone to his left side while he was given the apology. Maybe someone to give feedback to make sure it looked genuine. Well, in all cases, you need emotional intelligence and awareness uh, for that. And Well, no, they did the worst coaching job ever. There are still many, many questions, but one thing is for certain. The only reason this tape was leaked after the trial is because someone was preserving it. It was not the hotel. I'm sure the interested party would have paid a hefty sum of money to make it disappear. But then it would have been Diddy, the one who had a copy of it, and it was seized when his homes were raided. But again, why keep a copy of the video? Why not destroy it? Well, maybe he had it as some sort of trophy. Maybe he enjoyed watching it. Pure speculation on my part. But do you have any other explanation for that? I would love to know what you think about this in the comments. Remember to download my 100 free Bottom Language tips right in the description of this video. My name is Jesus Enrique Rosas. I'm the Bottom Language Guy. Much love and bliss.